what's up guys Huffman of Tech here with another iOS 14 beta 5 update so unfortunately at the moment at the time I'm recording this video it seems like Apple is sticking to their two-week cycle when it comes to release dates for iOS 14 beta update and this applies both to the public beta and to the developer beta at the time you're watching this video iOS 14 beta 5 is essentially almost upon us or is just about to be released so keep your checking update page and you might see this iOS 14 beta 5 and if it's your first time watching on this particular channel that means that you somehow found me and my hide and seek skills aren't that good so do me a favor by hitting subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the latest iOS 14 updates that we have for you so first things first let's begin with a possible release date for ios 14 developer beta 5 so if we open our calendar right here and go to the calendar section here we know that ios 14 beta 4 was released on the 4th of august 2020 so this is when we saw beta 4 and you can see that tomorrow is exactly two weeks after we saw beta 4 of ios 14 developer beta so when it comes to a possible release date for beta 5 expect it as early as tomorrow that is august the 18th i'm very confident with this date and if things go south and we don't see an update tomorrow and or by the time you're watching this video of course then expect ios 14 developer beta 4 to at least be released between the 18th and the 20th of august 2020 so we saw how apple release cycles have been we are first of all seeing the developer beta then a few hours later or the next day we see the public beta now when it comes to a possible build number we know that with ios 14 developer if we go to the about section right we have the build number that is here if we click on the software version and it has an e at the end so when it comes to beta 5 both public beta and developer beta we expect a more stable build number as we get closer and closer to the release date of ios 14 so beta 5 should have a build number that has a c or at least a D at the end. Quite a number of people are actually facing network issues when it comes to iOS 14 beta 4. So if we see the modem firmware that we have here on beta 4, it's 8.00.00. So if you are having issues with cell Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and so on on beta phone then those issues most people have reported them on the feedback app and also on developer forums so keep in mind this and this is something that we expect to see fixed now when it comes to a possible update size if you're updating from beta 4 to beta 5 then expect an update size that is going to be around 800 mbs and then if you are updating from iOS 13.6 or 13.6.1 then expect this update to be quite large it can come in for you at an average update size that is between 8 gigs and 10 gigs depending on the device that you use so now let's see how bad people need this iOS 14 beta 5 update I did do a community pool and if we go to my YouTube section I did post this like a week ago and I said iOS 14 beta 4 has been out for a couple of days how has it been for you and what device are you using it on and most people did vote we have about 124 votes thank you very much for voting those that voted and i'm happy to see that you know the most voted option here is that it's great so beta 4 has been great for most of you over 40 percent voted that it's great and then five percent that is terrible it's good that five percent is a low number and then 24 percent said okay but a few bugs here and and there and 23% said I'm on iOS 13.6 or older or I believe also iOS 13.6.1 since it's out and 8% said forget iOS Android is better so that's what you guys voted and I'm happy to see that for most of you it's actually a great update and then if we look at some of the comments that we have here if you go to the comment section here we have uh, a few comments and the first comment that we have here is from Sasko and it says it's good i noticed a few bugs though there is a bug that came back from beta 2 
I will probably make a video mentioning it. So that's his tech and he does make videos on iOS and good tech content. Check out his channel. And then Nikki said running way better than beta 3 on both my iPhone 7 and SE first generation battery life and performance have significantly improved widgets now update in real time and i'm super happy that 3d touch is back so it's good to see that you know for most of the people it's a great update and that's what you guys said and i'm happy to see that for most of you it's actually working now i have to say that the most requested change for me at least when it comes to my social media handles i received like eight or ten requests from most of you saying that you know call of duty mobile is no longer working after updating to beta 4 so i believe call of duty is hosted by tencent games their servers shouldn't be blocked it's unlike amazon web services that host fortnite and if you know fortnite has been blocked from the app store and if you need to update it updates from amazon web servers and they have been blocked by apple because epic games the parent company of fortnite violated some app store regulations so they are not working but when it comes to call of duty i'm sure this is just a simple bug that came with beta 4 when most people updated this is a bug that is known i did report it using the feedback app and also quite a number of people mentioned this in some developer forums so that's the first fix that we expect to see when ios 14 beta 5 comes out if you're an apple tv plus subscriber then Apple TV Plus, CBS, and Showtime are being combined for a subscription bundle, which is going to cost $9.99. So, yeah, if you have that service, then that is something that is soon coming to or Apple TV Plus subscribers. And also, we expect to see a more stable clock widget. So, for me, I actually haven't been having so many issues when it comes to beta 4 for the clock widget but we should see more stability improvements when it comes to the weather widget and the clock widget when it comes to battery performance if you go to my battery section here my maximum health capacity remains on 80 percent and i expect it to remain on 80 percent when beta 5 comes out and then if you see my screen on time for the last 10 days i actually haven't had so many issues when it comes to battery on beta 4 so let's say for example this stay here you can see that i had about four hours 13 minutes screen on time with five minutes screen off time and that was basically using like 40 percent of my battery which is not too bad so if i was to use it completely it would give me around nine or so hours which is not too bad and then when it comes to performance i did run geekbench scores right so let me just show you the scores that i got on ios 14 beta 4 if we look at the cpu scores these are the scores that i got for single core and multi-core and comparing to the average iphone um, success device which is this one that I'm running this uh, Geekbench scores on and iOS 14 on you can see that it's always above average so here it's above average and on multi-core it's above average and that's a criteria that we expect to see carried forward on beta 5 we could even see better and improved performance compared to what we have here on beta 4 when beta 5 is released so that's about it for me guys this is just a small update video on when to expect what to expect and also what's going to be fixed if you like this video leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank Thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video